Hey guys, this is Paige. I want to make this video about my jewelry collection. A sister asked me to make this and then I felt led to. So I'm going to show everyone my jewelry and how God speaks through jewelry. Now, I, this is not the full collection of jewelry, but it's a part of it, a big part of it. I want to start out with showing you guys some jewelry God had given me in ways before I even knew him and then showed it to me later. This is a ladybug. I don't remember how I got it. It was before I ever met him and then he showed me the ladybug again. It means blessings. This was, my dad had given this to me before I even knew God. I No, maybe it was like the first year, and I felt like it looked like an eye. And I was like, oh no, it's the eye. But actually, this kind of represents God's eye, in a way. You see the blue? The middle is like a daisy. Now the iris would be blue, but just kind of symbolic. This is a turquoise necklace with hearts on it. If you see my my video, I don't know if I'm going to put it up before this one or after. The one where Lindsay Sterling is like Artemis, she's wearing this stone. And I looked in through my jewelry and the stone was in there. The stone means protection. And God also showed me just now it means enduring love. Wisdom, protection, enduring love, and blessings. And it's like his eye on me. People might say it's a greenish, but I believe it's blue. People might think God wouldn't speak through a stone color, but you have to understand God made this stone. People just use them for bad and new age. We're not to use it that way. But God showed me the stone. He actually showed me the guy Charles with the woman. Her name was Angel. And the guy kept trying to give her this stone necklace. And then he showed me Lindsay Sterling was wearing it in uh, the Artemis video that I'm going to upload after this or before. It's God confirming everything. Here's a ring I, I, I had a long time ago. It's like a pink heart. I mean, I'm sorry, a pink rose. God told me I'm like the pink rose. It's like the combination of the candy cane, the red and the white. It means innocent romantic love. Here's a pearl with the pink heart. I mean pink rose. I'm sorry, <laughs> the pink rose. The pearl with the pink rose. These are things I had even before I knew God. Here's a little container thing I had with the pink rose. Had these in there. I don't know if these really mean anything, but it kind of just makes me think of a vine. Jesus Christ is the vine. I am the branch. This I had when I was very young, and this is amazing. This is called, I believe it's an Italian charm bracelet. I don't really wear it anymore, but you have the dolphin on there, which God speaks to me through dolphins. They mean wisdom. They also mean protection and purpose. It's kind of like a joke. God would... <laughs> like porpoise you know porpoises are like a symbolic they're, they're like a, a relative of the dolphin it sounds like purpose just this pun it's a funny thing there's a shoe on there which represents my shoes when I preach here's a uh, butterfly God speaks to me through the butterfly means transformation the blue one means have joy over my love for you and the butterfly also means God's plan. <laughs> Here's the heart. God showed me hearts 
You know, when I came to him, when I received the Holy Spirit, I started seeing hearts everywhere. Here's the shell. He would show me shells. Like I'm a protector of man. I'm like a shell. Or he's like the shell and I'm the pearl in the shell. And then just a flower. I'm God's flower. This, I believe, my, I don't remember, but I believe my dad gave this to me before God even showed me the blue butterfly. It, it shows how God does things before we even know things, and then he shows it to us later. That's how high he is. I don't remember fully, though, on this one, but that's what I think. My dad had given me this a long time ago. This is a, a bracelet. My my birthday is in December. Turquoise is actually my birthstone, I guess you could say. Yeah. So he'd give me a lot of things with turquoise, and that's actually, God would show me I wear turquoise symbolically. And I just said what that means, like enduring love. This, I don't know, this isn't really jewelry, it's just a keychain. Uh, purple flowers mean royalty and success. This is kind of symbolic of my shoes preaching. I don't know, just thought I'd show it. Now, my dad had given me this. This is a turtle. <laughs> It's actually Christian people made it too. God would show me the turtle. It just means wisdom. Turtles are wisdom. Are wise. They're wise. Uh, my mom had given me this. She didn't even know about the butterfly. Now, okay. I go into, okay, here's more turquoise stuff. This is a necklace my dad gave me. This is, God had shown me this name, Isabella. Like Bell from Beauty and the Beast. Bella means beautiful. Isabella means God is my oath. And then this was in there. It's like hearts. So that's an earring. And then there's a, another earring in here. It's just a heart earring with diamonds on it. I can't really open get it open. Hold on. It's just, I mean, God had shown me the hearts when I came to him. My aunt sent me all these. I have to look more through what she sent me. This was a long time ago, but I'm sure there's other stuff in there. This was in what she, she used to be a teacher. She'd wear all these fun earrings. This was in there. God spoke to me through it because I'm like the watering can. I water God's people. Here's the pink rose again and a heart. This is just my name with the heart. Here's a cross that I got. Okay. All right. My dad had already also given me this. This was after um, God showed me the blue butterfly. My dad knows I like butterflies. He doesn't know God spoke to me through them, though. This is just a necklace. I had bought this a long time ago. This is a bracelet with a dove on it. The dove represents the Holy Spirit. So I liked, I wanted it. I mean, you could pick any charm you wanted, but I, put, I chose the dove because it represents the Holy Spirit. This I got a while ago. It's just a key. But it's kind of makes me think of God's keys to the kingdom. And I'm like the pink rose. You know. Okay. Here my sister gave me this a long time ago before I even knew God. I don't think I'll ever wear this. I, um, maybe on my wedding day. I, I don't know. You'd have to have your hair up. This goes in your hair. It's uh, butterflies. 
My dad also got, got me like another necklace. Just butterflies. You know? Okay. There's also this necklace. It's just a pearl. This is a, it's a little tarnished. A pearl with the, with the flower. You know? And I have pearl earrings and a pearl, like one pearl necklace that, um, I, I got long ago, but it's just plain. It's, I don't really need to show that. Here's a starfish my dad had given me a long time ago. This is when I was still in uh, Pharisee doctrines and I was afraid of the starfish. <laughs> Cause you know, people would think that's a pentagram, you know, but God showed me he made starfish. They mean infinite divine love, the starfish. And um, it's God's thing, it's something Satan sh tries to steal. Right. Okay. I have a lot here. My dad bought this for me. It's a cross with little pearls on. I believe I'm going to wear this on my wedding day when I get married. Very nice. God had shown me I'm like his pearl. He gave me a dream about this. He also showed me that magazine thing. And it said how I'm God's pearl of wisdom. And uh, he recently showed me also, again, how I'm like a bright shining pearl to him. Very sweet. I bought this. This is a, like a charm bracelet with the butterfly on it. Uh, Sister Rose um, Violet gave me this. Said how we we have the rainbow, or we make the rainbow. God actually used this and the box she gave me to start telling me about like uh, how our armor is gold. Just one of the ways he was confirming it to me, and he confirmed it in the Bible. She gave me this, you know, the unicorn. This means making a boom in the spirit, which God shows me I do. She gave me this. She's very nice. I was talking about this in a uh, video. This is uh, how God showed me we make rainbow. Or, and we wear rainbow. This is a kaleidoscope necklace. With like little different colored gems on the bottom. So nice of her. And she gave me, you know, this necklace, which is like sunflowers. God speaks to me through the sunflower. They mean you are my sunshine or seek me. Okay. Now that's all the jewelry I already had. Um, now I'm going to go into the, the jewelry that... I've bought and God show me through the I am jewelry and how he spoke to me through it and the symbolic meanings of each thing. First he show me, you know, I felt in my heart I really wanted to, to get ruby jewelry. And I showed you guys the picture of it, right? I was looking for it. I was like, I really want the ruby jewelry. And he showed me that Barbie doll. And then I went over there in CVS to the I Am Jewelry and it said, because I love you. And it was just filled with ruby jewelry. I showed you guys the picture. Here's the, uh, the bracelet. It has a rose on it. This is before God showed me roses. See, he uses everything to speak to us and teach us. This is like the Cupid thing. <laughs> he just spoke to me through Cupid the ruby. It says in the Bible, it says love. I also have a keychain. It just says love and has the ruby. I don't have it. It's in my purse. I don't feel like getting it. Here's a necklace. 
the ruby. It says in the Bible, you know, a virtuous woman who can find, you know, her price is far above rubies. So he gave me rubies to tell me I'm far above rubies. And, and it's kind of like his blood on me, symbolically. Here's the earrings I would wear. You'd see them in the videos I make. This is the heart. It's like a heart. I think there's something with the heart God's telling me. I'm not sure yet. It kind of means like two halves, maybe, and he's half, and I'm the other half, and we make a full heart. I don't know. Still telling me stuff on that. Here's a, a little stud. I don't really wear these, but this is the ruby. Here's my ring, the ruby ring. Here's a ring that came with it. It's just little, you know, diamonds. It says, this one says love. Some of these came together, like a little set. This is uh, kind of like God's eye, the sapphire stone he sits on. The sapphire stone is blue. But he uses turquoise to show me his eye too. I don't know, I just like this ring, I bought it. It's an I am jewelry. It's a heart, I'm diamond, I'm like a God's diamond. I make the rainbow. Okay, so that's the ruby jewelry. I don't think men are gonna wanna watch this video, but it's for the ladies. <laughs> Here's a, you know how God showed me I, I'm covered in daisies? It means purity. I wear these a lot. I really like these. Here's a bracelet. These are just hoops. They came with the stuff. Here's just a little, little green earring. Got more daisies. I like these though the best. I wear those the most. More daisies. Here's a, I like these a lot. I only wore them once. God actually showed me a woman in a, in a movie when she got married. She had this in her hair. This is the daisy. Very nice. And, um, it's a purple one, which means royalty. It's like you're pure and you're royal. This is kind of... I don't know if you guys can see it. This is a, a necklace with just more of the daisy. And this actually, it's kind of tangled, but it spells out daisy. I probably should have untangled this before. Sorry, guys. It has a daisy on it, and it says daisy. Let's see if I can get it. Daisy. The A is there somewhere. I thought that was really cute. This is God telling me I cover you in my righteousness. That's how much Pharisee doctrines are wrong. God actually speaks through these things. And he confirms it many times. He actually used jewelry in the Bible to honor people. When the prodigal son came back, he put a gold ring on him. And um, he symbolically puts, he put uh, jewelry on Israel and he gave me jewelry. It's an honor thing. Also with Isaac and Rebecca, Rebecca was given jewelry when they found out she was going to be Isaac's wife. People would say that's the Old Testament. Yes, it is, but God still feels the same about jewelry today. It's just those verses like a woman shouldn't wear pearls and the, it doesn't mean literally don't wear it it's sin it just means let your adornment not be that let it be the the uh, hidden man of the heart and your good works your as your main adornment that's what it means it doesn't mean you can't adorn yourself with it, it just means 
let it not be the main adornment. That's what it means. This is a um, very pretty ring God gave me. The butterfly again means transformation. Here's some earrings. This is a necklace with the butterfly. Do you know when my dad uh, married my mom, I talked about this before, she was wearing a butterfly necklace. God showed it to me in um, a picture of her when she got married. I was like, why are you wearing this? She's like, I don't know, I just wore it. It means God's plan. <laughs> it's amazing. It was like a diamond. I, I, she doesn't have it anymore. I wish she did and I could have it. <laughs> Here's, you know, the sunshine. He covers me in sunshine. He showed me that, then he showed me this. This is just a bracelet with the sunshine. Okay. This is when God show me the starfish, which means infinite divine love. This is the bracelet he showed me. We got the starfish, infinite divine love. The shell again. Coral, I think, represents royalty. There's the pearls on it. Here's the fish. I'm a fisher of man. I'm the pearl. God's pearl and the more. And here's a uh, seahorse. Seahorses represent strength and royalty because they wear this little crown. Here's the earring, the pearl. God has grace for these things, guys. Women are in serious bondage. I'm not thinking they can't wear this stuff when God actually gives it to me. Um, here's a dolphin again. They mean wisdom, purpose. And I think playfulness. You know. Here's uh, just, these are just hearts. I just liked them. God speaks to me through hearts. Oh, and they mean protection to the dolphin. Here's just these don't really mean anything. I just like them. You know, I've worn them a couple times. Here's the necklace that goes with it. Okay. And then I got this one. This edifies me, you know, when I'm being persecuted by people. That God's my friend. And he's with me and I'm like his four leaf clover. It says it says friends forever and it says love on or I'm sorry, it says faith. No matter the span of the sea, our friendship sails on forever. It edifies me, I look at that. When people are treating me like dirt. I'm probably gonna go back and buy the moon. And I know this is a lot of jewelry, but you know, especially the ones that I am, I'm going to buy it when I see it because it's amazing. <laughs> Here's a rose. And I've saved up money and I can buy things I like. I am the rose of Sharon. It's a purple rose, which means royalty, purple flowers. And I am the lily of the valley. It's literally in the Bible. I'm shocked people think this isn't him. <laughs> when he inspires people to make it and then shows it to me. Are they doing it on purpose? I don't know. Literally says, I am the Rose of Sharon and the Lily of the Valleys. And it's literally on the jewelry with his name on it. It's him. He shows it to me. And I am the Daisy. All these things just edify me. You know, hopefully they edify you when I show it to you. And the daisy, I am purity. So God shows me, I am purity. I put daisies on you, you are purity. And here's the holly berry. 
I am the Holly Berry, or I am Holly. Holly berries represent Christ. This, this, the leaves represent a thorn on his head, and the red berry represents the blood, his blood. Very cool. All right, I think that's it. All right, I hope you liked my collection. I'll probably add to it. I'm probably going to buy that moon one because it's going to edify me. All right, love you guys. Bye.